Well, what is Joomla? Joomla is a content management system. Its goal is to make it easy to manage your content online. Most simply stated, a content management system is a way for your users to keep the content of your site up to date without having to know all kinds of code and other craziness. Joomla will make your life a whole lot easier. And here's why. A content management system takes your content, your text, all the edits that you do, the links you embed, the images that you embed in your articles, maybe even video, whatever your content is, and it stores it in a database. And the reason that's important is because the content is completely separate from the design. In the old days, I'm pretty old, in the old days, we used to create websites by hand. Every page was crafted with its own HTML and CSS. Even in the older days, we used something like front page 97 even to build individual pages and then upload them to the internet. The problem was when you wanted to make a change on all your pages, say your logo got updated, you would need to change every page and re-upload that to the internet. Well, that took a lot of time. A content management system says, no, well, you know what? Each page gets manufactured on the fly by grabbing the right content and applying the right site design all on the fly. Finally, the last part of this very 30,000 foot view of a CMS is the actual content management system itself, the database, the PHP, and all the other code that goes into building a content management system. As a Joomla beginner, you don't need to worry about that third step, except to know that when somebody clicks on a page on your site, Joomla says, oh, they want the content that's associated with this menu item. They want the site design that's associated with that menu item. And in literally thousands of a second, Joomla starts to pull all that together and presents it to the page. So now when I want to change the logo on my site, even if I have 10,000 pages, it's one click, update the logo, click save, and instantly across my entire site, the logo is updated. And that applies for all kinds of things. For instance, what about a little section on your site that has all the latest articles, maybe in your blog? Well, if this was a static site, every time I added a new blog item, I would need to go and update that little sidebar. The beauty of Joomla is it does it for you. And so now, maintaining your site is so much easier. Well, Joomla started off as a thing called Mambo way back in 2000. The name was changed to Joomla in 2005. There have been three major versions and many, many minor versions of Joomla. At the time of this recording, we're at Joomla 3.5.1. Over here at joomla.org slash three, you can see a page dedicated to Joomla 3.5 and above doing more with Joomla 3. I'd encourage you to take some time to look at this page. Easier customization, editor buttons, content status reports, mobile ready, user-friendly, developer tools, two-factor authentication, all of these are built into Joomla 3. And as you can see, over 68 million downloads of the Joomla project. Joomla is free. That's right. You can download it right here at joomla.org. It's completely free to download and completely free to use. There are some companies that sell extra features, and I'll talk about that when we look at the Joomla extensions directory. But right out of the box, from here at joomla.org, Joomla is free. Joomla is run entirely by volunteers. That doesn't mean that it's not being developed or it doesn't have great support. It's amazing what the volunteers have done through the years. Most of those volunteers have Joomla businesses, and so it's in their best interest to keep the project moving along, and indeed they do. Here's a quick picture from the Joomla World Conference last year in Mexico, and as you can see, well, there's a ton of enthusiasm there. So who uses Joomla? Well, corporate websites and portals, intranets, extranets, online magazines, e-commerce and online reservation systems, governments use Joomla, a ton of small businesses, nonprofits, community-based portals, school and church websites, personal family, home pages. The list is practically endless. I could have kept going. A lot of people 
he used Joomla. And so that's a quick introduction about what Joomla is. In the next video, we'll start to talk about what Joomla can do.